Hi friends, I hope you've been doing great. Welcome back to my channel. I have been crazy excited to share with you what might possibly the, be the best date that Ben and I have ever had. So if you've been following my date night in unboxings month by month, you'll notice that I didn't post one in March. Partly it's because there was a little bit of a mix up with the mailing of getting it. For some reason it was returned, but I got it and then I decided to do something a little bit differently with this box. So if you're in the vlogging or blogging world, you know how you can get so caught up in capturing the moment and getting that picture perfect scene that you can't actually enjoy the moment. So that has kind of what's been happening with my past date night inboxes. So I really wanted to just give this a real shot of not having any pressure to get those great photographs or have the setting just perfect and just enjoy it for like if just Ben and I were just a regular customer getting these date night inboxes. And I have to say, it made all the difference with being able to relax and enjoy the date. But not only that, this date was phenomenally planned. It was everything a date ought to be and I can't wait to tell you what all it was about. So before the date, I knew that I wanted to get the setting to be just romantic and cozy. I wanted to pick a place where Ben and I feel very just rested and relaxed. So I chose our bedroom and I spread out a blanket and I have some bad quality phone photos for you. I put out some pillows, I put some um, baskets upside down to create low tables, I brought in a candle and a plant, and then I went down to the kitchen and just whipped some snacks together. Now Date Night In does partner with a blogger named Marina and she makes some amazing meal plans for you ahead of time if you want to have dinner as part of your date. And I have done the dinners in the past and they've always been a highlight and very delicious but this time I wanted to keep it really just kind of relaxed and chill and not feel like I have to put a lot of work into it and just rely on the box really to provide everything for this date. So I found some snacks downstairs and laid it out in our little bedroom floor picnic. I lowered the lights and it was a really cozy romantic setting by our bedroom window. So after the setting and the food was prepared, I decided to explore the box with Ben. And that was really exciting for us to kind of open this together and I'm going to show you what we found inside. So the theme for this date was blind date and I have to be honest I did see pictures on Instagram with a blindfold and honestly that got me like really excited like what are we doing? So I knew this was going to be in here so there were two of the blindfolds in here that we found and then we found a whiteboard with a marker and then we found some masking tape. We found this little chapstick and it looked really good. Moroccan magic with argan and essential oil lip balm. And then we found this bag, of course empty now, of gourmet cotton candy. And then usually if you've ever been a part of my date night in unboxing, there is a thick booklet in here to kind of walk you through your date and help you get tuned into your music playlist for the evening and all of that. But this time there was just a little card so the card basically says, welcome to your date night, and that we're not gonna be using in a booklet itinerary tonight, but instead we're going to be doing something of a blind date. And actually most of our date is going to be blindfolded, and so we were going to have an audio guide with also some romantic and exciting music playing during the activities, and then walking us through step by step what we were gonna be doing for the evening. So this got me really excited because we were kind of at the mercy of our audio guide with our blindfolds on. So one of the first activities that we did was to draw things blindfolded. The first go around we had to do it on our own just trying to figure out where we wanted to put everything and then the second go around our partner actually kind of guided us audibly and did have permission to touch maybe three times to guide the hand. And so I saved a little picture for you because I had to draw a picture of Ben. So the first time it was pretty crazy. The second time turned out pretty cute, I thought. I called Ben my Bollywood Superman. I forgot his glasses, but he's got his curly hair. We had to get his Superman curl and then his little cleft chin. And so it was just kind of fun to take off my blindfold after like getting Ben's guidance on how to draw him and then seeing like, hey, we did pretty good. We made a good team. So that exercise was, it was just hilarious and fun. I, I got to have mine off while Ben was drawing his and he had to, got to have his off while I was drawing mine. So we were just laughing as we were watching each other draw blindfolded 
And then it was kind of a team building activity too because we had to listen to one another with the guidance part. And then the second activity that we did was we created obstacle courses in the bedroom and then our partner had to guide us through audibly through the obstacle course. So that was really fun and exciting and like just trying to communicate in a way that the other person would respond to and all of that. So I really enjoyed that activity. And then we had to answer questions both of us blindfolded that our guide walked us through. And these were sort of relationship questions that take us deeper with each other. And the purpose of the blindfolds was to help us to really listen to each other. So it was amazing how having our eyes closed and then answering the questions really helped us to focus on each other's voice and in what we were saying. So that was really cool just to go on a deeper level and also without looking at each other, kind of made it a little bit more relaxed and like we were connecting soul to soul and instead of like you know when you're really attracted to somebody sometimes that can be a little bit distracting when you're talking and then we got to do some activities with our cotton candy that I have to say was pretty flirty and so it was really cool like to be in our cozy bedroom and then get to do these activities and these I might blush a little bit talking about but the first one was we had to take a piece of cotton candy and feed the other person without using our hands and I uh, I was just like, Ben, don't you dare use your feet, <laughs> but he didn't. So uh, just imagine the scene from Lady and the Tramp with the spaghetti, and that's basically what it ended up being. So that was really flirty. And then the second one that we had to do, I'm really gonna blush on this one, was you had to hide a piece of cotton candy somewhere on yourself, and then your partner had to blindfold it find it. So all of that was super fun and exciting. The ending of it was the more questions and by that time we had really just gotten close to each other with our blindfolds on and we're cuddling and just really listening to one another answering the questions. So by the end of it we had had some fun and laughter. We had some adventure with the obstacle course. We had some deep connection with the questions and answers. And uh, so it was a 10 out of 10 for me. I loved absolutely everything about it. It was so well planned. The audio guide was perfect. He would like come in and give you instructions and then he would fade out and then they'd have some great music playing for us to do our different activities. And everything was just timed perfectly. So it was a win. Now the masking tape, we never did use. I never figured out what this was for. Ben joked that it was to add weight to the box. <laughs> But yes, I, I'm, we must have missed something. And finally, they gave us some chapstick so that we could have moisturized smooches. And I have to say, this is a really quality chapstick. Ben said it's the only chapstick he's ever liked. So there you go. So all in all, fantastic date. Which leads me to some exciting news, which is I am partnering with Date Night Inboxes to give away free dates to two of you. And so I'm actually gonna reach out to them and see if you can get a hold of this exact date. I'll have the updated information below on what they said because it was just seriously so good. <laughs> so if you're interested in doing this one, maybe, maybe you can still do it. But the one that's coming up for next month looks really exciting as well. The theme is adventure, which I think speaks to all of our hearts. So if you're interested in entering this giveaway for a chance to win a free date night in box, two of you have the chance to win. You will find all the information below in the description box on how to enter. And I hope you enjoyed kind of hearing about how the March box went with the blind dates. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.